what's going on guys welcome back to the channel we are out here in pascagoula and we are trying our luck again for some sheep's head y'all it has been a minute since i've had a chance to really get out and do some fishing uh trying to find a time to fish is like trying to pick the lottery numbers it just ain't happened yet so we got an assortment of base today we got some filler crabs some frozen shrimp we might even try some some barnacles see how that works out for us but let's quit talking let's get to fishing all right guys first drop down of the morning is going to be with a fiddler crab tyler right over there nice enough to go digging through the mud catch us a few filler crabs we don't have a whole lot so we did get some frozen shrimp as a backup but we're gonna drop down see if there's any sheeps hanging along this seawall here pop on a live fiddler crab and this is going to be on the birds of prey knocker jig that's what we got this set up on here let's drop down and see what we can get Got you a good one, huh? Yeah. Heck yeah! <laughs> that sucks, man. All right, we're gonna chunk that out there, let it sink naturally. Are they on the bottom? Huh. Heck yeah. First keeper in the boat. Tyler with another fish on. Sheepy. Heck yeah, brother. At least somebody's doing something. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Let's go get a measurement on the sheep. Make sure he's a keeper. Shout out to my buddy Joseph for hooking me up with a Yak Gear foldable measuring board. This thing is sweet, y'all. Folds right up nice. Called the fish stick. Do what? Right. See if we got a keeper. Ooh, you can be close. Yeah, I'm gonna let you small. let you do it. Have the honors. <laughs> hey, I got your hook. Yeah. Put that right there. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. Heck okay. yeah. That's the keeper. Nice. Heck yeah. All right. Tyler with two two keepers in the boat? Two keepers and two dinks. Two dinks. And that's that's two more dinks than I got. <laughs> two hours later. Not a bite. I'm I'm really there's a cove right across. I'm thinking about going over there and throwing on a lure and fishing for an hour and trying that and if it don't work. I don't know. <laughs> How long that's gonna be. Yeah, right. Can't tell. That cove starts right there and it cuts back in. Thinking about trying for some reds or flounder or something back in there. I can't catch a sheep to save my life today. Yeah, I think I saw it. See it driving in. Uh can you give it a shot? I'm, I'm grasping at straws here. <laughs> I had three bites way over there by the Navy ship. And that's it. There we go. That feels like a flounder. It is a flounder. All right. Finally got a daggum fish in the boot. 
Finally got a fish in the boot, y'all. He's a tiny one. Thirteen inches. He is a keeper. This poor dude's actually missing one of his eyeballs too. His eyeball is gone. A little one-eyed flounder there. Oh, there we go. Oh, chunky trout, dude. Chunky trout. Whoa! Oh yeah! Boom! <laughs> Big old fat trout! Yeah! There we go, right off the rocks. Oh yeah. Turn this day around, stop fishing for sheeps. Start throwing lures. Ugh. See what we got. Woohoo! -hoo -hoo. Twenty and a half. Heck yeah! Right, right here off the freaking rocks, man. Guys, I was just trolling this Yozuri crankbait back behind the boat on my way back to the boat ramp, and I've got something nice on. Lots of head shaking. Just about jerked the rod out of the rod holder. And I have no idea what this is. I'm not gaining a lot of. Can't tell if he's snagged on something or what's going on. Nope, nope, going for a run. What is this? What in the world could this be? I don't have the slightest idea. Come on. Oh, he was caught on something. It's still caught on something. I don't know if I'm gonna get him. I can feel it rubbing against something. It's not good. I don't want to lose whatever this is. I said I can feel it rubbing up against something. All right, run, 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 run. Try not to lose this fish. What in the world do I have? Whatever it is, is caught in something down there. No. I really, really, really want to know what this is. Did I lose him? Nope. He's still on there, but he's still wrapped around something. Oh, I think he come off. Whatever it was, I think he come off. I don't think I'm snagged anymore. What in the heck is this? Nope, he's still snagged.
What in the world do I have? I cannot gain anything on them. What in the world is this? I still have not seen it. It's too early in the year for a jack. What in the world is this? Shark? Oh gosh. Oh, don't break me off. Don't break me off. Oh no. What in the heck do I have? Got some big old rollers coming my way from the boat that just went by. It's gotta be a shark, I think. I don't wanna hoss a man because he was rubbing up against something. Whoa, whoa. I had him snagged on something earlier and he was rubbing. So I'm really not trying to hoss this thing in. I just wanna see what it is. I was just trolling this Yoziri crankbait back behind the kayak. I can't get him to come up. I just want to see what it is. Uh, it looked like a jack. Is it really a jack? In March? Is that what this is? Holy crap, y'all, my first snapper! Oh my God, yo! My first freaking red snapper. You got to be kidding me. Holy crap. On the Yozuri crankbait. No way. Get in the net. Oh my God. No freaking way, yo. <laughs> oh my God. You can't be serious. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> ah. No freaking way, y'all. My first red snapper. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's get these grips on him. I don't want to kill him. They're not in season, I don't think. I don't know. I don't look at that kind of stuff because I never expected to catch one. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Oh, no freaking way! Oh, guys, this is awesome. Uh, <laughs> Y'all, look at that fish! <laughs> oh my goodness, I do want to get a quick measurement on this thing before I let it go. Holy cow, my first ever red snapper. That's insane. Ah. Uh, no freaking way! Ow, 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 God. Oh, he's finned me in the leg. Ah, stop, 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 stop. 26 inches, y'all. 26 inch red freaking snapper. Ah, uh, on the Yoziri crankbait, y'all. No freaking way. All right. I really hope this thing is recording. Are you recording? Awesome. Yo, check it out. Oh my God. What a freaking day. Oh, no freaking way. That is insane. Oh, my leg, man. He stabbed the crap out of my leg. <laughs> totally worth it though. Oh, holy crap. All right, guys, back from the trip. I've come down a little bit off of cloud nine after catching that red sniper, and I kind of wanted to go over my experience with it and why I'm calling this fish a fish of a lifetime. Because for me, it is. Might not be for anybody else, 
But um, this isn't an area that you normally catch red snapper, okay? You don't really find them off the Mississippi coast like this, not that close to shore. This isn't Destin or Pensacola where we can find some really deep water fairly close to shore. Uh, number two, catching this thing on a kayak. That's always been a bucket list fish of mine to catch from a kayak. So to be able to do that in my own home state waters it is just insane to me. Uh, I've always been wanting to plan a trip over to Destin and Pensacola and try my luck there, but now I don't have to. Uh, number three, catching this thing trolling. Okay, I was using a Yozuri crankbait. This thing only dives like eight to 10 feet. Okay, so that's that's the part that's really throwing me off. I don't know a whole lot about red snapper, but uh, I do know they're mainly a reef fish. From what I understand, you catch them off reefs, deep water, dropping you know chunks of live bait, dead bait down. So to actually catch this thing trolling, not 10 feet down, uh, it just blows my mind. So that's why this is a once in a lifetime fish for me to catch in these situations in this location i'm still worked up about i had so much fun catching this fish so guys i hope y'all enjoyed this as much as i did um that's why i love fishing so much you never know what you're going to catch this trip started out with the goal of catching sheep's head i never caught the first one uh ended up catching a trout catching a flounder uh tyler caught a few sheep's head and then to catch that on my way back to the boat ramp feeling defeated uh, turn my whole day around. So that is why I love fishing as much as I do. You just never know what you're going to get. So guys, if you liked what you saw, do me a favor, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we will catch y'all on the next one.